Good morning. Good morning. It's okay if you want to look at your watch and realize it feels like we're at the end of mass, but we're ahead of schedule. So I'm going to put us on schedule. <laughs> Give me a few minutes if, if you would. The word I want to share with you this morning is alignment. Actually, you've heard me speak of this before. On numerous occasions, you've likely heard me say something like this. We simply seek to align the things that we do in the world with the things that God is doing in the world. Sounds simple and straightforward, and perhaps it is, but I also think there's, there's subtlety there that is a lifetime of exploration. Our readings today, I believe, give us a glimpse of two characters in the Bible right in the midst of discovering their alignment with God. In our first reading, we heard Joshua challenge the people. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Alignment. And the people responded, well, far be it from us to forsake the Lord. And then you heard in the gospel, we heard Jesus challenge the 12 disciples amidst the murmuring, the grumbling, and people leaving the movement because it had become hard, really hard. Remember a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, we were, we were hearing first about Jesus feeding the 5,000 out of John's gospel. And then, and then there was the challenge. Uh, everyone was following Jesus and Jesus turned around and said, why are you following me? And he, well, he didn't hint. He actually said, you're probably looking for more food. Well, guess what? My journey is harder than that. And that's what's going on here. They're mumbling, they're grumbling, and some are turning away. And so Jesus turned to the 12, his disciples, his inner group, his, his core team. Do you also want to leave? But Peter responded in a moment of true insight, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alignment. Joshua, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Peter, to whom shall we go? You know, if we were gathered today in a different kind of setting, say a, uh, an evening of reflection or a, uh, an all-day retreat or something of that sort, I would, invite, I would invite all of us into prolonged meditation on these, these words, these exclamations, because I believe they can teach us. I believe they can form us. But we're not gathered in that way. We're worshiping today. So as I do on occasion, I'm gonna give this to you as your homework. Here's what I want you to do uh, in the next week. Pick a day that you know you have 10 minutes of quiet time to yourself and meditate first on Peter's question, to whom shall I go? To whom shall I go? Just whisper that question to yourself over and over and over again. And in 10 or 15 minutes, I believe the Holy Spirit will bring you into alignment. And then on another day, this coming week, take another 10 minutes and meditate on Joshua's statement. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Whisper it to yourself over and over again. And the Holy Spirit will align you. 
I think if all of us do this, it will bring the community of St. Charles into greater alignment with God's work in the world. In my five years with you, I don't believe there has been a time more important than now for us to be aligned with God's work in the world and to maintain a laser focus on that alignment as we transition to new priestly leadership, as we launch into our partnership with De La Salle North Catholic High School, and as we continue to navigate the ever-changing waters of this pandemic. And so to do that, to maintain that laser focus on our alignment, I believe we need to be reminded of several things. I have five, I'll do them quickly. One, let us remember and take to heart that we are first and foremost a community that cares for one another and cares for those in need. This really is our, our most important and most practical point of alignment. And we simply will not, cannot allow external challenges to distract or deviate us from that course. Care for one another, care for those in need. Second, let us remember and take to heart that we are a community that eagerly partners with others who share our vision, share our charisms. Welcome, De La Salle North Catholic High School. And conversely, we will stridently resist those who try to hold us back. Third, let us remember and take to heart that we are a community eager to learn, to grow, and change where we need to change. And we challenge each other to do just that. We refuse to be stuck in a rut, fixated on our status quo, nor resistant to inno innovative ideas. No, in, in fact, in solidarity with our new school partner, this fall, we will explore together the Lasallian charism that guides their faith and spirituality, and we will glean much from it. Four, let us remember and take to heart that we are a community that values authentic, personal, prayerful, and interactive worship as envisioned by Vatican II. For in our alignment, we, we know in our heart, in our gut, that liturgy is the work of the people. And dialing in even further, in our alignment, we know that a core component of our worship involves proclaiming, receiving, and interpreting the word of God in light of the events of our community. And so we hold fast to those called upon to proclaim and interpret, even if sometimes it means waiting until after communion. <laughs> Finally, let us remember and take to heart that we are a community that values authentic leadership that arises organically from within recognizing that the Holy Spirit may tap any one of us at any time to step up in the moment. You see, the Holy Spirit does not concern herself with, well, who is paid or volunteer, who is young or old, who is straight, gay or queer, who is black, brown or white, or even who is lay or ordained. If you are called to lead, there's a place for you at St. Charles. Okay, I've just given you five, five ways that we show alignment with God's work in the world. What would you say? How would you, okay, Rio? Rio's gonna put up on the slide. 
How would you complete the sentence? Let us remember and take to heart that we are a community that. I want you to cook on that. I want you to dwell on it. In fact, add that to your homework. Uh, By the way, the, the first two homework pieces are in the bulletin today, so you don't have to try it. What were those things that he wanted me to meditate on? I just want you to take a bulletin home. I believe that if we remember and take to heart these things, we will find ourselves in alignment with God's work in the world. And when we are in that place, we can trust that our community will withstand any challenge set before us. So together this morning, let's conclude our time together by simply pledging out loud the words of Joshua. I'll say it first and then you'll say it with me. As for me and our house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and our house, we will serve the Lord.